Good morning. Here we are. Another day. Thursday. <clears throat> oh, we have on our table. Something going on. All right. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Running a little late here. Definitely behind on things. I had a phone call, but uh, kind of delayed things a little bit. But uh, good morning, <clears throat> Kathy and Lynette. Praying for both of you ladies, and uh, we'll uh, just uh, continue to pray for one another. Carol Lee, glad you're on here too. And uh, good morning. We, um, yeah, it's it's definitely a day. So <clears throat> beautiful day outside. Got pretty warm yesterday, I thought. So it was kind of warm in the church last night. I probably should have turned the air conditioning on. <laughs> okay, it's kind of that that time of year, isn't it? You you don't know whether to wear a jacket or well, you you wear one in the morning, then you regret because uh, later on you're dying because it's hot. So and. That's all right. That's the fall. But um, <clears throat> hope everyone is doing well this morning. Continue to pray for those in uh, Florida. Sounds like uh, a lot of damage going on there. Uh, some some island, I'm not sure. The bridge is washed out. Only access to them. And so I don't know. But some sheriffs said that he thinks that there's probably hundreds of people that have lost their lives. So, Seth, you're down there. I hope you're safe where you are. It looks like you're back up in the area where probably just got a lot of rain. But uh, glad you're on here too, Seth. And Wayne, glad you're here too. So, um, <clears throat> yep, heat in the morning, AC in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, Betty, you're on the road. If Mel's with you, you tell him to keep his eyes on the road. Don't be gawking around, checking everything out. He needs to stay on the road. So, oh, and in the news, was there anything newsworthy? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I really, I, I don't even, I, I read the news this morning and I totally forgot what I read, so that's the kind of impression it made on me today. So I guess we'll just keep moving forward. Um, so let's just get into this, and I, I have a another meeting at ten, phone call at ten thirty today. Uh, just um, so might get off here just a tad early. So he is driving. Uh oh. All right, well. You pay attention. <laughs> All right, Luke 21. I started out there in the devotions this morning with Chapel's book and and uh, read a verse that uh, jumped out at me and and uh, says in verse 17, this isn't the verse that I want to spend time on, but it says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my namesake. I mean, we... We think it's bad now. It's going to get worse, and so we um, we we need to to make certain that our minds are made up that we are going to be obedient to God. And and but then this is what he says. He says, "But there shall not a hair of your head perish." So God's protection. He, he will. Uh, use us however way that he wants to, and we need to place our <clears throat> place ourselves in his hands and trust him and be obedient to him. And I mean, even said in verse sixteen, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren, kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish. And so what, is, what, is, what does he mean by that? Uh, I mean, he said that some of you are going to die. I'm, God just looks at death differently than we do. I mean, we, 
we um, we need to get past that, and and we need to get past the the thought that the the finality of it. It, it isn't when when we're in God's hands and we are in God's family, then we are uh, there for good, and and uh, he he will be with us, and and even if we lose our lives, then. Uh, absent from the body, present with the Lord. We we finally see the the completion of our faith, and and so no fear of what man can do to us. And and then it says this in verse nineteen. <clears throat> he said, "In your patience, possess ye your souls." So here we have the the whole idea that. Uh, in your patience, what what is patience? It's it's endurance, right? It's putting up and and it's continuing on to persevere in <clears throat> obeying and doing the things that you ought to. So, <clears throat> doesn't matter how how rough things get, doesn't matter the challenges that come, we are still to continue to march forward and let our faith be one that that is seen by others and. The, the idea of uh, in your patience, possess ye your souls and to um, be able to uh, uh, have control over and, and, and to, um, you, you, you will uh, control your soul. You, you will stay faithful. You, you're, you're, you will continue to have the, the testimony that God wants you to have. You know what I see in this? I see this being the dying grace that God gives us. When when we stay focused on God and we're not focused on our circumstances and we're not focused on those uh, that are, are trying to hurt us or whatever, but we're just focused on living for God and being obedient to God, then we will possess our souls. We will <clears throat> be able to control the what's going on in our lives and have the kind of testimony that we need all the way to the end. And that's what we ought to be doing. And and so what whatever comes, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going to need to come. I, I don't know what, you know, our country can't continue to go down this path and, and think that God is going to wink at us and think that it's all going to be okay. It, it's not. I, I mean, we, we have the idiots out there already, you know, it's the climate change that that's causing these hurricanes no it's not it's the hand of god you know you know maybe maybe we need to understand and repent and get down on our knees and and look to the one that that has created this world and and the sin that is dominating it now and 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 causing even the mountains to groan and uh, bringing that upon our ourselves and and repent and and doesn't mean there won't be more of those there still will be because of sin and the curse but we can see that that God is using this to wake people up and and how idiotic how how arrogant and prideful is it to think that we as a uh, the lowliest of there there's God then there's angels then there's man and we we can't we are so helpless in our own selves and to think that we can destroy the very creation of God and and uh, think that we have domination over uh, over that and that we can control the storms. Give me a break! How how I mean just how arrogant and prideful is that idea? And, and there there is no way God is the one that controls that, and so. Let's look to him and let's let's continue to stand for what's right and stand for the the righteousness of God. And and this wasn't in my devotions, but I did read it this this morning and, and uh oh man. Now I forgot where it was at. <clears throat> yeah, so I read in verse 24 and 25 of Proverbs and and those that say we just need to be quiet and, and show respect to those in leadership by uh, not saying anything. It says this in verse 24, he that saith unto the wicked, thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him 
shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. You know, we, we need to stand up. We need to tell people what a farce the the climate change is and, and the, the arrogance of it. And, and we need to tell people that they need to get right with God and, and we need to get back to putting God first place in our lives and in our families and in, in our obedience. And I mean, there is so much junk that gets put in, in the first place over God and their walk with God and their in their family. I mean, we see people that are so organizations that and and have no loyalty at all to their local church. And they have no loyalty to the family of God. They have no loyalty to to the word of God. And and well God's tired of that. I mean he's just tired of that. And and he's giving us an opportunity to get some things right. So let's get some things right. You know? And and let's and it starts with me. It starts with you, you know, and, and let's uh um we need to to do the right thing. And and in that, Proverbs 24 and verse 10, I don't know why this my little thing isn't working very well for the sun, but Proverbs 24 10, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. And that idea of fainting means to quit. You you want to quit when things get hard, then um, your your strength is small. You you're you're not going to to see much uh, accomplished for God. You're not going to see God do a lot of things in your life because you you've quit. You know I I I, I want to tell all the preachers out there that that they pick up. What was the doorbell? <clears throat> I'm not going to go answer it. And so. Uh, my wife is gone, so it's just me and the dogs today. So, <clears throat> but uh, in, in this, we, uh, it's definitely one of those days, isn't it? <laughs> 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 All right, well, whoever it is is just going to go away. I'm not going to answer the door. So, <clears throat> but if thou feign in the day of adversity, I want to tell these young <laughs> teachers that you know what they need to do? They they need to, uh, when the times get hard, buckle down, love the people, love God, love the word, keep preaching the word of God, and stay right where you are, and don't let people run you off, and don't let it don't let adversities uh, hinder you and stop you from being who it is that that you need to be. And when you do, your faith is small, and you miss out. You just miss out on so much, and and. Let us not do that, and, and let's stay strong to uh, walk in, in the, the way that we ought to. And, and right along with this, then, I, I read this in Psalm 71, in um, verse 5, and I found this to be interesting. I, I don't know why, but it just it, it, it came to my mind, and, and uh, sorry, trying to fix this. For thou art my hope, O Lord God, for thou art my trust from my youth. And, and I, I got to thinking on that and, and on the, the youth. And, and I think, what, what are we teaching our children? You know, have, have our children, do, have, have our children had the opportunity to understand the importance it is to walk strongly with God? Have they, have, have they uh, uh, been taught the, the strength of God? Have, have they been taught the importance of prayer? Have they been taught that uh, their faith is the most important thing in their life? I, I mean, I, you know, our kids that are, that are so involved right now, you know, school starts, I mean, not only does school start, but then all the sports programs and all of the other extracurricular activities start. And, and look, those coaches demand loyalty. And they demand that you are there and that that uh, if there are sacrifices to be made, then they need to be made in order to be a part of that team. And <clears throat> the, I'm, I'm telling you, those sports will go away, okay? And, and uh, yeah, you might have some good memories, but your faith is with you every day for the rest of your life. And what are, you, what are we teaching our kids? Are we teaching our kids to be more loyal to, to organizations? Are we teaching our kids to be more loyal to sports programs than we are to the, the word of God and being obedient to the word of God? I, I'm, I'm just, hey, I'm not against anyone, okay? 
But I'm telling you, we need to get our focus and get things right. And so it sounds like somebody's still at the door. So I'm probably going to have to quit with this. And and uh, there in Psalm 71 also, uh, here, here it tells us to cast me not off in the time of old age. And then down in verse 18, now also when I am old and gray headed, you know, God will use us until the day we take our last breath. We, we need to be faithful. We need to be honorable. And, and we need to stand on the word of God and never be a quitter. Just stand and be what God wants us to be. And so I pray that, sorry I had to cut this short. I'm not sure what's going on outside, but I better go find out. So, but um, God bless you guys. And I uh, hope this has been a blessing today. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow.